Well, let's move on to Oregon State. Now it's sitting at one and two on the season. OSU entered Saturday's game with Arizona State with a condition critical mentality, a must win game, not just to avoid starting one and three, but an 0 and one conference start and a loss to the team picked to finish ninth in the Pac-10. The Beavers had to go about business though without their all time leader in all purpose yardage. James Rogers did not get medical clearance after suffering that concussion in Boise. Stephen Threet and the Sun Devils tried setting a tone on the opening drive with the 39 yard touchdown pass to Jarrell Robinson as he splits the defenders and goes in. It's seven nothing Arizona State. The Reeser crowd somewhat in shock after an OSU field goal. James Dockery makes a play. The leaping INT of three Doc's second pick of the year. Truly one of the leaders of that secondary and of that defense. Speaking of leaps, Aaron Nichols on third down goes up and gets it. Climbs the golden ladder on the Ryan Katz pass. We got to take another look. You just won't find a much better catch than that. 27 yard gain down to the ASU seven. Two plays later, Jaquiz. Rogers takes the long way in from four yards out, but he just does get it in. Catches the pylon with the ball right there. Beavers up 10-7. Second quarter, more cats to Nichols. Another 27-yarder, but this one worth six points as he hauls it in. First TD on the season for the former walk-on from Honolulu. It's 17-7 after an ASU score made at 17-14. Beavers, O-State scored again before the half. Cats finds the tank. Joe Halahuni, 19-yard score, 24-14. Beavers at the break. Two more Sun Devil field goals made it 24 to 20 to start the fourth. First play of the drive. Quiz gets loose and then cuts it back across the field and he is off to the races. His 38 career touchdown, third on the Beavs all time list, a career long 74 yards, 31 21 Oregon State, but it was far from over. Less than three minutes to play and Cameron Marshall goes right up the gut, virtually untouched for the 21-yard score, make it 31-28 OSU after the two-point conversion. Following a three and out, final minute of the contest, three victimized again by James Dockery, the veteran. His second game-saving pick of the season helps the Beavers secure a much-needed win in the Pac-10 opener at Research Stadium. Spoiling Dennis Erickson's return there. 31-28 the final. The Beavers' first win in a Pac-10 opener since that 0-3 game against the Devils. Quiz was back to his old self, rushing for 99 more yards than a week ago in Boise. Yeah, 145 on 24 carries and those two scores. And really the best game of his four-game career as a starter for Cats, 19-29 for 260 yards. Last week we were harping on a lot of things that were wrong with the Beavers, but that will happen against an opponent like Boise State. Back at their own level with Arizona State, the Beavs improved in a lot of areas. The biggest for me was Cats really spreading it out, completing passes to nine different receivers, something they desperately needed. Bishop, Wheaton, Nichols all had career highs on Saturday in the absence of James Rogers. Nichols, huge with those 61 yards on three receptions. That's certainly the catch of the year on third down. And guys made their mark, too, in the return game without James. Jordan Poyer, the big reversal to Marcus Wheaton, 52-yard punt return, allowing the Beavs to punch it in with Halahuni before the half. But the Beavers still got to find that killer mentality. Thought they sealed it up with the Lance Mitchell pick. About six minutes to play in a nine-point lead, but then came a three and out, then a punt blocked. And the Devils raced that back down with that Marshall touchdown, made it a three-point game again, followed by another three and out. But thankfully, Brandon Olander brought the heat on three and dropped him for a 10-yard loss. About a safety there on Oregon State's sixth sack of the day. And that's huge, too, because coming in, they only had two the first three games. So, I mean, you triple that in one game, and certainly they need more pressure and uh, chances for other weapons to come out. Last week we talked about it. Can they find Halahu anymore? Can it be Marcus Wheaton? We certainly got that, and they kind of forced their hand a little bit without having James in there. Well, I think you, you mentioned a good point about Joe Halahuni because uh, over the years we've seen Mike Riley's offense. While it needs the stars like James and Quiz, it also needs that complimentary yeah. player, like the tight end underneath. We've seen the tight ends over the years, whether it's Joe Newton, you know, on through the years, uh, have big games, and that's best when that Oregon State offense is clicking like that. Also, the defense, we've talked about the speed, the sideline to sideline speed. They show that they're maybe catching on to some things against the Devils. Well, it looked dicey for a while, but the Ducks emerged with their top 10 showdown with their first 5-0 start since 2002. When Inside the Pack returns, we'll have more with the third-ranked Ducks as they repaid the favor for some tough Stanford losses of the past. The secret is in the, and the magic's in the kids. We have a vision and a standard of what we should, what things should look like and how we should play, and they continue to buy in 